my beautiful Leos, and welcome to your August 9th daily reading. Happy birthday to all of my Leo suns out there. Happy birthday to the August 9th Leo suns. No matter if you are Leo sun, moon, rising, Venus sign, you can still resonate to the Leo season daily marathon. Let's start it off with a fortune for the day here for you, Leo. And your fortune is travel. Long distance communication will open up your life. Exciting experience for singles and career advancement for others. So whether you are traveling on this day or not, there is an energy of movement that's going to present itself towards you. Long distance communication, you may be in conversation with somebody that is further away from you. Exciting experiences for singles and career advancement for others. So things are moving. Your energy is not only moving, but it is traveling to new frequencies. So there could be something very specific or a very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? A very certain experience, invitation, or opportunity you were you will receive to travel. If this is not already in the cards for you for the day or for the weekend, keep in mind time is fluid. But no matter what, your energy is moving with this fortune. Let's see what we have as your angel. And Leo, the angel that is with you is count your blessings. Wow, this is literally what we just did on live yesterday. So keep writing your manifestations down. Thank you, universe and angels, for the blessings in my life. When you count your blessings, when you express what you are grateful for, more comes in. So I feel like Spirit is giving a very strong indication that whatever you've been writing down, whatever you've been manifesting, has indeed moved your energy. Now, can we see energy? Not necessarily. Sometimes, and most of the times, it's invisible to us. But we can feel energy. So you're going to start to feel something around this time where you are going to feel a lot more confident and a lot more inspired by your ideas and the things that you want to manifest. So let's see what your Moonology card is. Definitely keep writing down those manifestations. Do not stop just because it's not like a astrological event or things like that doesn't mean that you shouldn't still be grateful or shouldn't still manifest. Energy is energy all the time. So your Moonology card is don't let your past hold you back with the South Node. All right. So when this energy comes through, there is a slight indication that some past energies may try to creep up on you around this time. Do not let these energies hold you back. Whether they're past people, past experiences, past insecurities, past trauma, something may or someone may come up for you around this time. And the universe is saying, do not let this energy hold you back. You no longer belong in that energy. And the South Node will come in to, I guess you could say, universally test your purpose. Um, the North Node is the purpose you came here in this lifetime. So pay attention. Where's your South Node? Is it in Leo? Is it in Scorpio? Is it in Taurus? So whatever your South Node is, is your life debts, your past lives that you've lived. So check and see where your South Node is and look at the characteristics of that sign. That is what you're supposed to be breaking through in this lifetime. So pay attention to what your North Node is because that's the energy that you are striving to be in this lifetime. So like I said, when this energy comes out, the past may try to resurface into your energy in some way, shape or form. And the universe is telling you, Leo, don't let it hold you back. You are way more powerful than ever before. And there's like a hue of turquoise. Some of you may actually be wearing that color. Let's see what your other fortune is for the day. We have the lion. There you are, Leo. Harness the loyal and protective aura of the lion and charge ahead magnificently. Yep. 
They are saying, Leo, it's your season. You have power. You know how to harness all of your energy. Be loyal to yourself. Are you loyal to your past? Are you loyal to your past experiences that hurt you and broke you down? That means you are not loyal to yourself. So sit in that energy. You have a very protective aura around this time. And it looks like you are on the move. You are definitely on the move here. Your energy is absolutely rising. It's taking off. And I feel like for some of you, you may actually roar like a lion. So funny because yesterday I went to a 90 breath work experience. Um, like I said, I'm trying to figure out if they're going to do a virtual one so I can get that happening for you all. But um, in the breath work at one of the times, like you sit there with like headphones on and um, eye mask on, like all that stuff. And in the breath work, they actually tell you to scream like once or twice. So I actually roared a good amount of times yesterday. Um, and in one of the Leo moons, because I'm a Leo moon, I actually went to a mountaintop at a park and screamed with a couple of my friends. It feels nice. So if you feel the need to roar, do so. Let's see what your angel and aura is for the day. We have everything's okay with 444 with that big news and 2-2. Reassurance, support, guidance, and overseen. So it definitely looks like you may have felt very alone. You may have felt kind of frustrated. You may have felt like you weren't receiving anything. But the universe has some big news for you. Pay attention to the number fours and the number twos in this card. There's also a symbolism of a mailbox. So you may definitely receive something in the mail. Someone may send you something in the mail. Somebody may even ask for your address. But you are going to feel way more supported. And that's what the number four is trying to tell you. The fours come in and they're telling you, Leo, we see what you're doing. We see what you're working towards. Keep going. We are supporting you. Fours doubled is eight. Eight brings the physical manifestation. So the fours are telling you to keep going. The fours are telling you that you are supported. Just maybe you can't see, right? How I was talking about how we can't see energy. Maybe you can't see it, but it doesn't mean it's not happening. So let's see what we got going on in your tarot. What is the overall tarot theme for Leo for the day? Let's get you a theme card here. Okay, that's it. <laughs> Share the love. Three of Cups. You may be out. You may be doing things today. You may get invited places. You may be spending time with friends, family. Um, also an indication of reconciliation. Some of you may reunite with some friends, family members, possible love. Um, with Share the Love and Don't Let Your Past Hold You Back, I would be slightly weary of reconciling with people that you do not feel like had your best interest. But it's your birthday season. So I'm not surprised that part, that card comes out. Some of you may actually go out and have some fun. Um, the Three of Cups is favoring that. Beautiful. So let's see what we have in your spread. This is for Leo. You know what's crazy? Some of you may actually get an invitation in the mail, like for a like uh, an event or a party or something like that. Okay, let's see what we got. I feel like for some of you as well, while I'm shuffling this, I feel like for some of you, you may move or you may be moving. I know travel is here, um, but some of you, you may actually be moving or thinking about um, relocating. Okay, let's see what's going on. What's coming your way for the day is the sun. Wow, the sun has come out so much in your spreads lately. Very highly charged up. The, the energy knows, like, yep, we're in Leo season. And I find that so cool because I read so often so I can see when the energy changes. And I find it so amazing that the sun comes out so much when you're in your season. So what's coming your way is happiness, renewal, joy. The sun is like that child life joy, having fun, being enthusiastic, being playful and lighthearted with life. So it looks like it's just a really positive day here. 
So what's coming your way is the sun. Your energy for the day is the three of pentacles. Yep. Get ready. You're going to hear from a lot of people. You're going to be open to collaboration. I definitely feel like for a lot of you Leos, you are very open to communication, collaboration, community, coming together with people. Your energy is definitely wanting to connect. Your advice, I'm sorry, your challenge or possible challenge for the day is the Eight of Cups. There it is. Your challenge is not letting your past hold you back. Your challenge is walking the line and away from what no longer serves you. You see that moon up here? It's about to be an eclipse. So a lot of you, you are going to get placed very specifically in an experience or around a person or in communication with an individual that energetically will hold you back if you allow their energy to. So keep in mind, you have shared the love here. So not everyone is going to be an energy that you shouldn't reunite with. But there seems to be a very specific person or experience that you know no longer serves you. And the more you continue to walk the path away from this individual, the more change will come into your life. And that's why there's that eclipse energy on this card. So what's coming your way, your energy, possible challenge, advice is the lovers. Yep. Your advice is to, you know, this is like a paradoxical reading a little bit because your advice is to be open to connecting to people, but knowing intuitively who you shouldn't connect or reconnect to. And that makes sense as to why you have the three of pentacles. There could be people around you at this moment. So your advice being the lovers is to understand what connections are true and are healthy. The shadow side of the lovers is the devil. So when this card comes out, it wants you to understand in connection and people and who brings out what inside of you. That's your advice is to figure out what are these energies bringing up within me? Wow, this energy is really inspiring me. I'd love to have them in my life still, or I'd love to connect to them further. Wow, this person is really bringing me down, or whenever I talk to this person, I get anxious, I get nervous, this, that, and the other. That is the angel telling you that that's not the energy to connect to. So that being your advice and your outcome for the day is the Two of Pentacles. So you have some choices to make, and I'm not surprised. Because I feel like a lot of people are in your energy or a lot of people are coming your way. And that's exactly why you have this energy of your possible challenge with the Eight of Cups to the South Node. Because some of you are going to be a little bit indecisive on or intuitively kind of deciphering what are those energies that are beneficial for you and what are those energies that are not. And it looks like you find yourself in such a strong decision-making process because it seems like these energies are requiring some time and effort out of you. So let's clarify this. Let's clarify. Okay, so on the sun of what's coming your way for the day is the hanged man. A change of perception. I feel like either a past experience is going to resurface or a past individual. And I want to say this, but I don't want to say it until I get the outcome. But I feel like I want to say it, so I'm just going to say it. You know when you don't know if you're fully healed until you're in the same type of experience or around a love again or around new friends again or maybe around that same person some of you are going to have an energy of around this time where some type of feeling or some type of person or some type of experience from the past comes up and you are not phased any longer you're like oh my gosh 
I used to always be so overthinking when I was in these situations or I would always be so insecure when this person was around me or I was always this or I was always that. You're going to find in a similar experience or similar energy that you have changed. So some of you, you may find that you're over something or you're over someone and you didn't know that you'd been over something or someone unless that situation represented itself. And it doesn't have to be that it's the person. You know, some of you, you're like, okay, well, I don't know, I don't know if I'm over what that past job did to me, but here comes a new job offer and you feel okay. And you're like, wow, maybe I am over it. Sometimes you don't understand if you're over something and fully healed until you're placed in a similar experience. So for love, Maybe you weren't sure if you were over what someone did to you or over the actual person and then love presents itself and you're excited and you're ready and you're just charging ahead and you feel like everything's okay. You know, like that's literally your card. Everything's okay. And then you have that realization like, oh my gosh, I must be over this person if I'm able to be excited for new love, or I must be over what they did to me if I'm not fearing this new endeavor over here, like something like that. So let's see, on the three of pentacles, which also goes hand in hand with the what I was explaining from what's coming your way for the day, your energy being the three of pentacles clarified by the six of pentacles, exactly. Because the physical experience is when we figure out if we've learned. And you're going to get some sort of physical experience around this time. And you're going to come to the realization like, wow, I've learned. I know what to give. I know when to give. And I know when not to give. Financially, in effort, in time, in energy. Okay. On the Eight of Cups as your possible challenge, we have the Fool. Yep. Your challenge is allowing all new things into your life, new experiences, new people, new connections, new career, new jobs, new ways of thinking, new feelings, you know, the eight of cups to the fool. This person is wearing a red dress, so it wasn't easy to walk away from this, but the fool has certain parts of their clothes that are red. And if you see their bag has red, but they don't bring a lot with them. So I almost feel like you're letting go of some baggage from your past that you that you brought into the present a couple of times before. Okay, and on the lovers, I mean, this is crazy. Don't let your hat pass hold you back. And the eight of cups of the fool is basically that exact card, which is absolutely crazy. The lovers as your advice to the queen of wands. Exactly. What energies are making you feel good? Who makes you feel good? What makes you feel good? What environment? What job? Because the energies that are going to reassure you, the energies that are going to inspire you, it looks like you're receiving reassurance from someone or from a specific offer or from a specific opportunity and it's reassuring you in a way where there was a very specific moment or person in your past that like didn't reassure you, made you feel like you weren't doing good, made you feel like you weren't a good person, made you feel like something was wrong with you. And oh my gosh, sorry, that was scary. The wind is crazy over here. I don't know if anybody else is getting like the crazy wind. Um... And on the Two of Pentacles, as your outcome, we have the Emperor. There you go. Yeah, you are standing your ground. A lot of you are putting your foot down. You are saying, look, these are my boundaries. You played a part in this part of my life. This experience played a part in this part of my life, but it's not my life now. So, you know what this energy gives me is you're going to make a choice to stand on business. Mm-hmm. In whatever way, shape, or form. Because you have told yourself, I'm not going to let this phase me. I'm not going to let this person get to me. I will not go backwards. And you are going to get a slight temptation too. 
But uh, your outcome, it looks like most of you are going to stand on business for sure. Mm hmm. You're like, nope, my money is worth my money and efforts worth more. My time and efforts worth more. My love is worth more. My attention is worth more. My reassurance, like all that. You're really coming into a big sense of worth. And it looks like there is a specific connection around you that's helping you with that or a specific experience and opportunity that's showing you that. So if you're at a new career or going towards a new career and you feel so favored there, you feel so assured there and you're like, wow, I can't believe I stayed at a job for so long that made me feel so horrible. Maybe you're in a new friend group and you're like, wow, I can't believe I stayed in a friend group that gossiped about people all the time. And this friend group, they all support each other. Everybody's truthful. People are respecting each other. It's like that shift of energy. And that's the hangman has been following you all season. So there's definitely a big shift. And you're, it does look like you are going to have the confirmation that you're over something or someone around this time. So, whether it's a something of an experience or someone of a person, there isn't another experience and person that's bringing out this energy for you that's helping it and saying like, wow, yeah, I am over that because I don't deserve that. This is what I deserve. So, in terms of zodiac signs that could be in your spread, that could be in your spread, that could be in your um, birth chart or around you in person, you have strong Aries, Gemini, Pisces, and Leo. So let's see what we got going on here as your ending oracle. Who is your power position for the day? Leo, you have the resting tree. There it is. Card number 22, again, 2-2, two, 2-2, two, two, two. pay attention to the twos, patience and stillness, yep, because it looks like there's going to be something that tries to get your energy to do something, tries to get your energy to react, tries to get your energy to either take action or react to something, and that's why the resting tree's coming in, they're like, just chill, just chill. Here we go. The resting tree. Some of you symbolism of a tree. Doesn't have to be now. Could be something that comes your way in due time. The resting tree is a sign for you to stop focusing and planning and be at peace in the moment. This is the representation of non-action and relaxation. Patience is the key to being with this ally. The resting tree asks you to slow down, sit back, and watch the roses bloom and the birds feed in the meadow. This isn't a time to go too fast. You may not be taking enough breaks, so you're invited to be still and contemplate your good fortune, even if it means blessing the chaos in your life. This is a sign to allow everything to fall away except the stillness of the moment. When the resting tree appears, it signals that you've done all you can for now. Keep going, but unwind your energy. Allow your story to unfold in its own accord. You've earned the right to rest and relax. Amazing ideas will come if you do. Remember the ancient saying, we do without doing and everything gets done. You know how I mentioned before that this is a very like paradoxical reading? Yeah. Charge ahead magnificently and the resting tree. What? So they are stepping your energy into the grand paradox of life. Basically, knowing when to go, knowing when to stop, and knowing when to do both. Miss Michi say, how does that make sense? It does, in ways. So, there is... I'm trying to figure out a nice way to explain this. When you do things too fast, sometimes you miss certain steps along the way that should have been important. And it's like they want you to charge ahead confidently. But think about it this way. I don't know if anybody's ever watched the animal, the animal Planet. But have you ever watched a lion um, seek out its prey? Oh my gosh, there's a fly in here. Sorry. Have you ever watched a lion seek out its prey? Have you ever watched those videos? 
the lion will sit and what like say they're preying on gazelles right the lion will sit behind a bush or whatever in in wherever they are at and they'll wait and they'll wait and they'll wait and the lion will wait until it's perfect moment to strike the lion doesn't go right ahead You'll see the lion slowly, slowly, slowly stop. And then it'll slowly, slowly stop. It does not just be like, oh, there's gazelles feeding in the land. Let's run towards all of them. The lion knows that the faster they charge ahead at that group of gazelles, then those gazelles will hear their energy and, and hear their footsteps and run away. And boom, there goes the lion's dinner, you know? So the lion in nature, what you're ruled by, they go slow and then they charge forward. So that's, I feel like the paradox they're trying to give you is that use your intuition. Some moments ask you to slow down and be patient and other moments ask you to charge ahead. So be with yourself because that makes a lot of sense as to why your outcome is the two of pentacles. So the emperor Standing on business, not sure if you should stand on business. So, that's what I have here for you, Leo. Thank you for being here and for watching. I love and appreciate each and every one of you out there. If you want to shop any of my tarot or oracle decks, head down to my Amazon storefront below. Also, if you're interested in Leo Plus, for August, it is on my Etsy shop. I also have numerology reports as well as private readings, but I think I only have like three more private readings on sale. Um, I'm probably going to make it two more. Um, so if you want that, get on that as soon as possible. And I've gotten a lot of messages and a lot of emails about, um, learning numerology, spiritual coaching, even learning tarot. Um, if that's something you're really interested in, you can send me an email and I will figure something out for you. I do not have that for sale. I do not have that as something that I offer, um, all day, every day. But if that's something that you are interested in, you can send me an email or a message and I will figure out what your goals are and what you're trying to learn and see if I can assist you or not. So. Thank you, Leos. You can find all down there how to connect with me. And I'll see and talk to all of y'all very, very soon. Bye now.